Hello and welcome back everyone. We're going to be doing your um, monthly reading. So this is for 2024. I'm going to do a three month spread for you guys. Okay, so this is what's going on for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, please Spirit, if you guys are sisters, show Aquarius whatever it is that they need to see that will be important for them for 2024. January, February, and March. January, February, and March. Okay, let's start. Right, I'm going to pull out the cards first. We lay them down. So that's January, that's February, and that's March. Um, let's go for these. All right, Aquarius, please, Spirit, and guys, our sisters. January, February, and March. January, February, March for Aquarius, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Point twenty-four. Oh, that one wanted to fall out. I'll put that one in the middle. Okay. Uh, let's go in with these, I think. All right, Aquarius, send me rising and Venus for January, February, and March 2024. So, going on. All right. this off camera but some people like the shuffles <laughs> so I'll leave them in. Aquarius, Summer Rising and Venus for January, February, March 2024. Oh God we're around the corner. <laughs> hope you all had a lovely Christmas and I hope you guys do have a lovely 2024. All right. Aquarius, please send me rising luminous signs for Mar January, February, March 2024. Wow, that feels better. <laughs> okay. So, for January, you have life lessons again, okay? We have recognition and reward. This could be uh, very much related to your work. We have possibilities, free-spirited adventure and taking a risk, okay? And we have <clears throat> the paid ones, could be dealing with a younger fire sign in January. Well, this could be a child, Um Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and we have the Five of Cups, okay. Alright, Aquarius, um, if you're not in a relationship already, somebody new may be coming in, okay, and it just may be that this could be um, a relationship that's not going to last very long, sorry to give you bad news. Um, but again, this is a life lesson and it does feel like that, okay? Um, and I feel like Spirit's kind of telling you to take a risk, okay? It doesn't mean that just because something hasn't worked out, you you stop yourself, okay, from pushing forward and moving forward. Life does not stop there, okay? It kind of feels like you need to take more risks, okay? And with that comes the adventure, okay, of needing to do more. Um, because there is recognition and reward coming in here, okay, for you guys. So let's get a little bit more on this. What is this about for January here? What is this about for January? Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Look at this. There's a slow moving energy here, okay? Or things may be going way too slow. <laughs> January in the beginning of the year is usually a very slow month anyway for a lot of us. You know, we're kind of just recuperating our energy and building up our energy. However, it does feel, okay, that there are some plans here being made, okay? In terms of creative passions, I'm getting this very strongly, honestly, for 2024. It's about just doing, making plans and doing. Um, 
but I feel like 2024 is more of a stable energy okay so the knight of pentacles here is talking about just getting things done aquarius okay two cups yeah there could be a partnership here okay that you know you feel is moving very very slow okay now if you are in a relationship again it's it's a partnership that's moving very very slow okay um maybe a bit too slow use the fire energy is quite a fast energy okay um so this could be you or this person could have earth in their chart there is some kind of partnership here. You have the King of Pentacles. There it is. Yeah, see? Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So there is a very slow moving energy here, okay? But it's a very stable kind of energy too. Somebody here wants long-term commitment and somebody else is just not quite ready. And I don't feel like that's because, you know... Um, I don't feel like that's because this person is, you know, not non-committal in the sense that they don't want it completely. It's just I feel maybe they feel like it's too soon or they are personally not ready themselves. You do have the moon card. Yeah, there could be some fear around this time, okay, with um, this energy here, okay, this person maybe feeling this fear, okay. It could be stemming from past life lessons. <laughs> so there could be... Um, Something that happened in the past that's making this person fear commitment, okay? Or fearing the worst of this relationship or in this relationship. They don't want to get hurt again. Yeah, you got the Seven of Wands. Yeah, they're, they're really protecting their heart right now. They're protecting themselves because of the fear, okay? Uh, this could be you. This could be this person. Take it out of resonates. Um, but it does look like there is um, a lot of waiting and slow moving energy going on, okay, with the three of wands at the bottom of the deck. You've got so much fire energy here and earth energy, honestly. I'm not really picking up any air. You've got cancer here as well as Pisces. Um, this could lead on into February, I'm getting as well. Yeah, somebody here really, really, really wants marriage. Somebody here really wants commitment. Somebody wants to make this work, but another person on the other side is kind of like that fear. I feel like they will need to work through it, is what I'm getting, okay? I'm getting that they need to work through it. They need to work through it. And this is probably the life lessons, okay? Once they work through it, you will be rewarded greatly, okay? There will be uh, definitely um, commitment there, okay? If this person can work through it. And, of course, both of you work through it, okay? Um, I'm getting more love here than anything else and in terms of partnerships, okay? So I, I really don't feel like this is um, anything to do with finances at the moment, okay, coming through. Right, so moving on to February. You are all as well. There is, see, I told you, um, if, if you and this person can get through this, okay? Now, if you and this person can't get through this, you do have heartache and loss, okay? I don't think I feel like this is not a separation it's just the energy I'm getting I don't feel like this is a separation you got one day some day somewhere another time okay as well oh look at that you have the queen of pentacles and we had the king of pentacles for January so there is a perfect balance here you got the Hierophant Taurus energy, Taurus coming in very strongly here, and you have the Four of Pentacles, okay? So now talking about finances here, okay, uh, let me just quickly move away from the love aspect of things, I will come back to it. Talking about the, the finance aspect of things, okay, I do feel here, okay, that there is a high potential of growth here, okay? Whether this is within your home, um, whether this is within a self-employment or a business, okay, there is high potential here, but I feel like whatever you learn and whatever you grow from okay it's going to grow with you you just need to stabilize yourself i feel like there is some savings going on here you could be trying to save up okay as well let's get more on this tell me about february tell me about february Okay, you have the Nine of Swords in reverse, okay? So, some people interpret this as 
extreme depression anxiety i don't take this as that i take this as coming out of this energy getting yourself back on again getting yourself back out there getting yourself you know um sorted basically right mentally so if you have been going through heartache and loss okay this is about coming back out there um, and sorting yourself out okay clearing your mind from all of this Ace of Wands. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. There's a new beginning here, a new opportunity in terms of work and what you can learn and grow from. This could also be a spiritual development. Well, you guys are developing spiritually as well. Uh, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Finances are really shining through here. Ten of Pentacles is basically a completion in terms of stability, in terms of um, structure, in terms of finances. Somebody here could be um, receiving an inheritance as well, okay, or receiving a large sum of money. This could just be from savings as well. I'm getting investment bonds, okay? I don't know how that works. I'm just getting the word coming through. Yes, I, I feel like you're very comfortable in February. That's the thing. What is this heart I can loss about though? Okay, we have at least six of wands, okay? So, if there's something here that you thought would work, okay? And that you would get success and gain recognition from okay it may be that it was not the right time not the right place okay or not the right path for you spirits kind of guiding you off that path and telling you to do something else there's a moon at the bottom of the deck again so tell me more about the six of wands ace of pentacles yeah for some of you guys okay there could have been a huge financial loss here if you had taken that step all right but i do feel though okay that if you were feeling in loss or if you were feeling um, unsuccessful in something here, and it, it, let's just say if it was a relationship, okay, this may have stagnated your energy or you could have stagnated your energy, okay? Give me more for the heartache and loss intuition yeah look at that i was just talking about this just now right about your path it was gonna stagnate your path okay um one more one more peace yeah i feel like for a lot of you guys aquarius uh, february is about bringing yourself back around again okay and spiritually you're developing growing using your intuition okay knowing when to let go of something that is not good for you and that is not right for you okay all right let's uh move on shall we to march these are quick check-ins okay so um i will be pulling out hopefully um, a proper the proper reads okay soon <laughs> very soon okay let's go to march hopefully after the new year because uh these holidays are i'll be going a bit they're dragging a bit <laughs> right so you have for march ask your spirit guide okay then you have passion ignited which is the ace of wands kind of energy here so we got that twice we got spying, social network information, ways. <laughs> uh, okay, we have the Hermit, Virgo energy. We have Gemini, true love. Um, this is um, sorry, what I was trying to say. True love is the lovers. Okay, and then the two of ones here. Okay. You still have hope to get back with this person in Rikasar, but I feel like there's something coming in the way and it's deliberate. I think it's being deliberately done. And I don't mean by a person, a physical person. I'm talking about spiritually. I think it's being deliberately done, okay? Your energy is kind of not aligning. Tell me about this hermit. 
Six of Wands. Okay, so right now you're focused on your work, your success, okay, and what you need to achieve and accomplish, okay? And maybe that is the reason why your focus is not being put onto this connection, this relationship, okay? Um, right now, I feel like love is being put on second place. Right now, your work and finances are being put in first place, okay? There's something about you needing to focus on that more, okay? So it is kind of pushing you towards that direction here. Tell me about the true love. Page of Pentacles. Somebody could be coming in with an apology or making an offer here. What is this? They want some new beginning with you, okay? Or they want to try starting things again. You're the ace once, twice now, okay? Ooh, it's causing a lot of stress, though. Tell me about the two ones. You can't... I don't feel like Aquarius... I don't feel like in March you can deal with it. That's the thing. Chariot, yeah. I think you're more focused on just getting your things done. What it is that you need to get done, right? There's a lot of action being taken here to make things work and get things done. And you're keeping this very much to yourself, okay? Um, I feel like for some of you guys, you're just moving uh, slowly, slowly distant away from this person energetically. I'm talking about not physically. It could be physical. But it just kind of, yeah, again, nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. It just, it kind of, death card, yes, okay. I feel like you need to focus on one thing first, which is your career, your finances, okay? Or something creative that you're working on, okay? This person could be spying on you secretly, okay? You may be unaware of it. It could be multiple accounts, okay, that this person may have. And they may be trying to follow your moves or, you know, get more information on you. What is this high priestess here? family okay you may be spying on this person too yeah you may find out or this person may find out you or them they have a family or somebody here has a family okay and then it, you come to the realization that there was a lot of dishonesty deception here okay um so or this person may find out that you have a family with someone You've got Cancer and you've got Pisces, Virgo energy here. Gemini, you've got Scorpio. Can we deal with anyone here? Okay. There's an ending though for sure. I don't think that this energetically is going to work anyway in terms of relationship. Um, in terms of relationship or in terms of energy wise, okay? It, just, it, it isn't going to work. I can't see it working. So. Um, cross watchers I do apologize Aquarius if this is you I do apologize that you know but this is not working out and I don't like giving anybody this kind of news but I ain't gonna sugarcoat anything so I mean what I see and what I hear is what I'm telling you um somebody here probably wanted commitment though they they probably really did that's too much well let's see what it says and then we got younger woman, okay, so dealings or a relationship with a younger woman. You got happiness. Yeah, Chris, it looks like you're just focused on your own happiness. There it is, career. What did I say? You're focused on your own career right now. You need key successful outcome to your problem. We have flute, disappointment in a friend or a lover. This could be the other person or you. Heart, love, deep affection and caring. And we have rat, someone working against you behind your back. I feel like this is just that spying energy that's coming through here. You've got certain happiness and well-being. Okay, love it. And you've got broken ring, parting the ways in either romance or business. I'll let you take that how it resonates. Okay. That's what I have for you guys. I saw 1919 on the clock, so you guys might be seeing synchronicities. Maybe go and check out what 1919 means for you guys, okay? And I will see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to smash like, share, and of course subscribe down below.